What's up, guys? Today's going to be a little different. And I hope you guys enjoy this, because this is something I've really been considering doing for a while. And I finally just got everything set up for it. So bear with me as I try not to drive into the sun. Because <laughs> the sun fucking sucks. So if you guys, what the fuck is that? If you guys can see my tablet at all, I don't know if you can because the sun. Uh, it's not the GPS screen. I uh, I have it set to an app uh, called Eight Thousand Plus Funny Facts. So today I I've been in, in a recent discussion with a lot of people about. Uh, Motor vlogging topics and what's already been done and, you know, over time topics will get recovered by multiple people. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever done this, uh, but my goal is for us to just have a good time, like, <laughs> and learn some shit that may or may not be true, but hopefully will be funny. So, the whole, the whole premise of this is the tablet's got facts pulled up on it. Uh, I'll be able to scroll through them while I'm riding. But uh, what I'm going to do is read the fact. You know, if I have something funny or, or if it reminds me of something, like, totally just bizarre, you guys get to hear it. <clears throat> so... That one's kind of stupid, so we're not going to use that one. Oh, no, this one's actually good. Um, found on the Batman animated series armor set Halloween costume box, it says in quotes, Parent, please exercise caution. Mask and chest plate are not protective. Cape does not enable wearer to fly. Oh, my gosh. I... <laughs> the fact that they have to put a caution like this on, like, a child's play thing... It means that somewhere somebody fucked up <coughs> and <laughs> they had to actually put in their caution sign. Uh, Quebec and Newfoundland are the only two providences which do not allow personalized license plates. I could... Why Quebec though? Quebec is in Canada. Canada is supposed to be cool. Newfoundland, I, I guess. That doesn't really fucking matter to me. <laughs> if you're from Newfoundland, don't take that offensively. I'm just I'm being sh shitty. The ship of the Queen Elizabeth II should always be written as QE2 because QEII, or the Roman numeral significant of two, is the actual queen. I can see how that would be uh, kind of confusing. In Thailand, the left hand is considered unclean, so you should not eat with it. Also, pointing with one finger is considered rude and is only done when pointing to objects or animals, never humans. I, I think I've heard something like that before. Um, does that make sense? The minimum age set in the U.S. Constitution for the President of the United States is 35. Woo, no one cares. Being rude to a telephone operator in Prussia was once a crime. In 1908, a respected citizen was reprimanded by the government after becoming... Uh, exasperated with an operator in saying, my dear girl. I don't know if that's like being rude. Would that be considered rude if you said, my dear girl? I guess it, if it was like cognitively said, it would make sense. A local ordinance in uh, Atwoodville, Connecticut prohibits people from playing Scrabble while waiting on a, <laughs> waiting, while waiting for a politician to speak. That's interesting why I don't understand why that doesn't make any sense like that sounds like one of those laws that like is completely made up for like one specific case just to like win Connecticut and Rhode Island were never ratified the 18th amendment prohibition if you guys don't know what prohibition is here in the United States uh, for quite a while Alcoholic beverages were outlawed in the United States. And funny enough, that's how fucking NASCAR got started. <laughs> that's a true fucking story. 
Uh, in Utah, birds have the right of way on all highways. What? That doesn't make any sense. What? Birds have right of way? That, uh, well, I, you know, I bet you they're talking about like goose and ducks and shit. I was about to say, a flying bird can do whatever the fuck it wants. It's not going to be on the road. In 1996, Christmas caroling was banned at two major malls in Pensacola, Florida. Apparently, shoppers and merchants complained the carolers were too loud and took up too much space. I can see that, I guess. It is illegal to marry the spouse of a grandparent in Maine, Maryland, South Carolina, and Washington, D.C. So if you guys have some weird, like, Oedipus complex, but with your grandfather, probably don't want to do that. Or your grandmother, if you're in the vaginas that have dust in them. Christmas was once illegal in England? What? Holy shit. If you live in England or the UK or even if you live in fucking Scotland, like, if, you, if that's real, you guys need to comment that. Comment that down below, please, because that is ridiculous. I didn't know that was a real thing. It is against the law to whale hunt in Oklahoma. What? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. It's illegal to whale hunt in Oklahoma. There's no whales in Oklahoma. Unless they're like counting like fat people or some shit. <clears throat> in Breton, Alabama, there's a law on the town's books against riding down the street in a motorboat. Okay. For hundreds of years, the Chinese zealous zealously guarded the secret of sericulture? I don't uh, the imperial law decree death by torture to those who dispo disclose how to make silk. Okay, that's crazy. <clears throat> Under the law of Mississippi, there's no such thing as a female peeping tom. <clears throat> What the fuck is that behind me? Is it a fucking soup can? Jesus. Anti-modern laws restrict internet access in the country of uh, Bur Burma. Illegal possession of a modern... Oh, illegal possession of a modem can lead to a prison term. Fuck that. See, I, that's what, I don't understand why countries do that shit. Like... You really think the internet is going to bring down your country? Don't be fucking stupid. Like, come on. In most places, when a drawbridge is open, the only land vehicle that can claim priority over boats is a truck hauling the U.S. mail. This option is seldom, if ever, exercised, of course. Huh. Sorry, guys. These are probably going to be U.S.-based, so if you guys are one of them, I, uh... My over-the-pond subscribers, I, I, I'm sorry. During the 18th century, books that were considered offensive were sometimes published by being whipped. What? What? That's fucked up. <laughs> Found on a box of Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. Warning, pastry filling may be hot when heated. Yet again, that goes to one of those... <laughs> One of those warnings that someone fucking did something stupid. Oh my gosh. This fucking sun sucks. Uh, you're subject to fines and or imprisonment for making ugly faces at dogs. Fucking Oklahoma. Why is it Oklahoma? If you live in Oklahoma, I'm sorry for you because apparently you don't have a fun life. You can't hunt whales. Now you can't look at ugly or you can't make ugly faces at dogs. Jesus Christ. During the reign of Catherine I of Russia, the rules for parties stipulated that no man was able to get drunk before 9 o'clock and ladies weren't, weren't, were not, to get drunk during any hour. Interesting. According to the law, no store is allowed to sell a toothbrush on the Sabbath in Providence, Rhode Island. Yet these same stores are allowed to sell toothpaste and mouthwash on Sundays. Uh, mailing an entire building has been illegal in the U.S. since 1916 when a man mailed a 40,000 ton brick house across Utah to 
to avoid high freight rates. Holy shit. I couldn't imagine the people that actually had to do that, that had to do like the paperwork and logistics work for that. Jesus, I guarantee, like, walk it, just walk into, the, yeah, I need to mail a house. Well, s sir, you can't, you can't just mail a house. Well, I mean, show me in your guidelines where it tells me I can't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking Utah again. Utah and Oklahoma sound like really shitty states. <laughs> Uh, no building in D.C. may be taller than 13 floors. This is so that no matter where you are in the city, you can only see the mo you can see the monument for our first president of Washington, D.C. I can understand that. That kind of makes sense. In Somalia, Africa, it's been decreed illegal to carry old chewing gum stuck on the tip of your nose. Okie dokie. Women were banned by royal decree from using hotel swimming pools in Jiddia, Saudi Arabia in 1979. Okay, that's weird. In Lehigh, Nebraska, it's against the law to sell donut holes? What? That doesn't make any sense. That's a long one. In Milan, Italy, there's a law in the books that requires a smile on the face of all citizens at all times. Exemptions include time spent visiting patients in hospitals or attending funerals. Otherwise, the fine is $100 if they can see in public without a smile on their face. I don't believe that. That one sounds like shit. If you live in Italy, a Milan, Italy, confirm that. <laughs> it's fucking something fun to do in traffic. People are probably staring at me like, what the fuck? The movie Cleopatra starring Elizabeth Taylor was banned from Egypt in 1963 because she was a Jewish convert. Oh. I guess no uh, no country or providence is ever safe from ridiculous people. During the time when the atomic bomb was being hatched by the United States at Alamogordo, Alamo Gordo, New Mexico, applications for routine jobs like janitors were disqualified if they could read. Illiteracy was a job requirement. The reason the authorities did not want to did not want their trash or papers read. Huh, I guess I could see that. Then we fucked up Japan. If you're from Japan, I'm sorry. <laughs> we Americans are kind of assholes. In Italy, is it illegal to make coffins out of anything except nutshells or wood? The fuck would you make a coffin out of nutshells? How would you make a coffin out of nutshells? In the state of Queensland, Australia, it's still con constitutional law at all pubs slash hotel bar. Uh, must have a railing outside for patrons who t to tie up their horse. That's crazy. Raise or no, found on a butane lighter, warning flame may cause fire. <laughs> Yet again, stupid warnings for people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> warning, flame may cause fire. Did not know that. This line of traffic always fucking sucks. Good old Athens. In Hartford, Connecticut, it is illegal for a husband to kiss his wife on Sundays. God, there's a lot of shitty fucking American states. Or shitty towns, <laughs> I guess. Women in Florida can be fined for falling asleep under a hair dryer, as can the salon owner. At the first professional baseball game, the umpire was fined six cents for swearing. That sounds really shitty. <laughs> 